positions to become president, he is now in that job. Jeff. Yeah, 100%. I mean, he is an unconventional politician. He didn't have any political background. He sees himself as being a huge success in the highest office in the land. Why shouldn't he pick somebody uh, who may not have had any success or any background in diplomacy to go uh, to a place like the UN? He also picks people who he likes on TV. He likes how Heather right. Nauer has, has performed on television. She's been on this show. Right, and Jen, she's been at the State Department, and he likes her in that role. But it is absolutely unconventional pick, and quite a contrast to somebody like Nikki Haley, who came in with a really robust uh, resume of, of being an executive of a state and, and of being in the Republican Party and, and having a lot of leadership background. Can she do the job, Michael? I have no idea. Uh, you know, it, 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 but that's not what's required here. Uh, what is required here is uh, for someone to be an, an eye and an ear for the president at the UN. Uh, the star will not go out here to separate herself from the president's uh, particular opinion or position on issues. Um, and and uh, I think the diplomatic community uh, will find itself uh, sidestepping her uh, and, and not necessarily having to deal with her the way. Uh, they may have dealt with Nikki Haley, certainly with uh, prior members uh, put in that position. We have a flash up on screen under uh, Capitol Hill nominees, senior administration picks, judicial nominees, who sort of lack that, what you might call, particularly relevant qualifications for those. Hey, you know what? About John There's some pickled, um, ooh. There's also some interesting twists when it comes and to the Fayetteville, Tennessee. Tennessee. And it isn't. And that's Department of Homeland Security. What? Six and four dollars. Dill pickles, green tomato relish, whole tomatoes. There's a warning to her because of how she has handled uh, what's been going on in the world with that caravan that's currently sort of there at the moment. So, did she just buy herself like six extra months? And does she even want six extra months? Maybe they have these child balloons where in the press it, oh, they're in hot water and they are John Kelly. I mean, this is like a six month bleed of him and whether he was going to be in this, you know, in the administration, not in the administration. And so, I feel like there's a lot of twists and turns potentially left, but clearly the border crisis is not in the news every day. She's not kind of flailing around over there. And so, he's, he's making a lot of other changes right now. So, it's kind of like, oh, maybe put that on the back burner. It's still that. Sorry, Michael, there is still that connection, though, between Nielsen and General Kelly. So if, if, if Kelly does end up leaving, that might put another question mark over the secretary. And not to, but, but I will say this, though. When it comes to Kelly, I think there has been, there, it does, it bubbles up every couple of weeks. I mean, we were back on November 13th and he was in, in some hot water, you know, as it related to what we learned from sources, which is that he and the president are barely on speaking. Well, I, again, I think he did not like the fact that, John, uh, that Kelly came in there and said, look, I want to put this uh, process in place. Yeah. This is how we're going to run these things. And you didn't like that constriction and control. We want to end with sources saying, Anna, yours relate. We always talk about, you know, what stories we're working on. You're working on one exactly related to this, right? Yeah, it's all it's White House revolving.